Today, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D text effect and an isometric 3D text effect using Affinity Designer. There are basically two methods to create this 3D text effect. Let's start with the first method. First, write the text using the Artistic Text tool. Then, choose a bold font. Open the Character tab and increase the tracking, which is the space between letters. Now, align the text in the middle of the artboard or canvas using the alignment tools. Change the text color. Next, create a duplicate of the text layer. Rename the top text layer for better navigation. Now, select the text layer on the bottom and press Enter on the keyboard. This will open the Move or Duplicate tab. Here, enter two pixels in both the horizontal and vertical fields. Then, check the Duplicate checkbox. In the Number of Copies field, enter 10 or 15 copies depending on your needs. Press OK. Next, select the bottommost copy and create a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl plus J. We will use this as the shadow for the 3D text, so rename it to Shadow. Then, select all the text layers, except the top and shadow layers. Click this button to combine them into one vector shape. Move this vector layer to middle. Now, change the color of this vector shape layer to a darker variant of the top text layer color. The text looks 3D, but we have a small issue here. When we zoom in, we can see jagged edges. Let's fix that. Select the Node tool and click on the curve. Carefully select all these extra nodes in the middle and delete them by pressing Backspace. Repeat this process for each letter. Finally, let's edit our shadow text layer. First, change the color to match the vector layer. Then, open the Layer Effects panel and add a Gaussian Blur. Finally, I will change my canvas or artboard color. And there you have it. A nice 3D text effect. Now, it's time for the second method. I'll start by changing my font for this method, though it's not necessary. Then, create a duplicate of this text layer by pressing Ctrl plus G. Next, change the bottom text layer to a darker variant of the original text color, like before. With this layer selected, I'll open the Move or Duplicate tab by pressing Enter. In the previous method, we entered small values and created multiple duplicates. But for this method, we'll enter large values in the horizontal and vertical fields and create only one duplicate. Press OK to apply the changes. Next, create another duplicate of the original text and hide it. We'll use this later. Then, select both these layers and convert them to vector curves. This will give us two groups with the letters as vector curves. Expand the first group, select all the letters, and combine them into one vector curve. Move this curve out of the group. Do the same for the second group. Rename the curves for better accessibility. Now, zoom into the letters and select the bottom vector curve. Turn on wireframe view for better visibility. Only turn on these two snapping options for better guidance while editing the curve. Using the node tool, click on the curve to create a new node and drag this node like this to create a 3D illusion. Repeat the node creation and repositioning process for all letters. After editing all the curves, turn off wireframe view mode to see the 3D effect in action. Then add a drop shadow using the layer effects panel. Adjust the background according to your needs. Remember that hidden text layer on top? Let's use it to further enhance our effect. Add a thin white stroke to this text layer. Move the layer to the middle of these two curve layers. Then, move this text one pixel down and one pixel to the right. Now, this 3D effect looks fantastic. Let's create the isometric 3D text effect using the first method. After writing the text, open the isometric tab. In the isometric tab, 
click on Modify Grid to adjust the grid lines for isometric editing. In the preset dropdown, choose the 64 into 32 pixel isometric preset and leave the other settings as they are. Then close this panel. Now in the isometric tab, you'll see three cubes and some plain editing options. For our editing, select the cube labeled top. Then select the text layer. Under plain editing options in the isometric tab, click on fit to plane to fit the text perfectly along the XY axis. Then resize and reposition the text as needed. Create a duplicate of the text layer and rename both layers for better accessibility. Change the color of the bottom text layer to a darker variant of the top text layer as we've done before. Select the bottom layer and press enter on the keyboard to open the move or duplicate tab. For this isometric 3D text, we'll duplicate only in the vertical direction. So enter two pixels in the vertical field. Check the duplicate checkbox and enter the desired number of copies in the field. Then click OK. The next steps are similar to method one. Duplicate the bottommost layer for the shadow effect. Combine all the bottom shapes and remove the jagged edges using the node tool. Finally, add a shadow effect and change the background color. And there you have it, an awesome isometric 3D text effect. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more design tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or want to see other effects, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video.